Evening. Are we ready or do we need more time? I would give it 10 more seconds. Okay. I'll just give me a hand signal that way I'll know. I think you're good, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening and welcome. I'm Mo Handel, Select Board Chair. First, we'll confirm that all members and others anticipated to be on the agenda are present and able to hear me. When I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. From the select board, Matt Borelli. Yes. Mary Ann Cooley. Yes. Dan Matthews. Yes. John Bullion. Yes. For the town, Kate Fitzpatrick. Yes. Dave Davison. Yes. And that includes everybody on my list. We may be joined later by our state representative, Denise Garlick, and I will inform people when she arrives. This open meeting of the Needham Select Board is being conducted remotely consistent with current state regulations and is being recorded. It's being convened through zoom.us as posted on the town's website, which spells out how the public may gain access some attendees are here via that video conference. Public access does not ensure that there will be public participation unless required by law. None of the items in our agenda will include public comment. Please be aware that others may be able to see you. Anything that you share or state may be captured by the recording and become a matter of public record. All supporting materials for this meeting, including the agenda, are available on the town's website www.needhamma.gov unless otherwise noted. The ground rules for this meeting are designed to allow for an accurate public record. I'll introduce each of the speakers on our agenda. After they conclude their remarks, each board member will be asked by name for any comment, questions, or motions. For all of us, please mute your phone or device when you are not speaking. Please speak clearly and in a way that helps us assure accurate minutes. Please wait until recognized by name and please also state your name again before speaking. And finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be by roll call vote. Thank you very much for your patience. This is a two item agenda. Both items are uh, very important to us, which is why we're having a special meeting. First item on our agenda is economic development opportunities for our downtown. And I'd like to ask Mary Ann Cooley and the town manager to comment on this item. Mary Ann. Thank you, Mo. So um, we have been discussing ways that we can help uh, the merchants in town um, as the state is starting to open up and given the current business conditions. And we convened a small group uh, last week. I'm grateful that Mo joined me and Marty Jacobs, um, along with Sandy Sincata and Lee Newman. And then this week, we sort of expanded to add the chiefs and our building inspector and Tim McDonald uh, as well, as we were looking at a proposal and trying to understand what would need to be done if the first step that we took was to help our restaurants um, with some outdoor seating for takeout food. So this is not intended to provide table service to somebody from the restaurants. It, it maintains the business model that currently exists with restaurants doing takeout. But once they take out that we plan to put some benches and some tables in public areas like the town common, the common in the Heights, um, and we're talking uh, also about the passageway next to Needham Bank in downtown are the three areas that we'll be starting with um, as sort of our test case. We'd look forward to expanding them farther. So those areas would be designated for seating on a first come first serve basis. If somebody goes to a restaurant, picks up their takeout, their takeout can include alcohol from the restaurant. 
which may be consumed in the designated areas. So it's not for roaming about the town with an open container. That's not what we're giving license for. But as you're seating, sitting and enjoying your meal with your family, um, you are welcome to do that and the tables will be set in a distanced manner. So we're not set to serve a large crowd, but we are certainly set to accommodate a number of people in something that may, might be fun and different for them. And we're hoping we'll encourage some more takeout uh, from the restaurant. Um, because of the fact that this is kind of a BYO option, people are bringing their food from the takeout restaurant to this location. Uh, we're also going to advise that you should bring your own sanitizer and wipes if you want to wipe down the table. Um, just like if you're going on a picnic, in that sense, you need to think about it that way. We will have waste containers at these locations um, because we do need you to pick up after yourself after you eat. Um, if you wanted to be like a national park and take your waste home with you, we would be delighted if that was the route that you chose. Um, I'm thinking, what else do I want to say? So this is starting this weekend, which is uh, Memorial Day weekend. We would hope that we can continue this without throughout the summer, although it is sort of an experiment. And so we need to be sure that it works and we'll fine tune as we go forward. And I would also want people to know that um, we are going to be open uh, to discussion and proposals from other merchants in town, not food merchants, about ways in which they might propose to us that they could do business outside their premises or how they propose, understanding how they propose to safely distance with inside. But we are, we are open to proposals that they think will be helpful for them to do business with customers in town in a way that customers and the employees of our merchants will feel comfortable. So I think that's kind of my general idea. What do you think, Mo? Anything else I should have covered? I, I think you've covered it. I think, yeah, I think, and we're hearing from citizens who want us to do something proactive. Yeah. And uh, thanks for your work on this. And thanks for the town staff who went above and beyond to get us a rapid response on all of the questions we had as we went through this. Kate, do you wanna say anything before we go to questions from the board? No, I would just thank you and Marianne for taking this on and for the staff, particularly Sandy, who has been working on it. I guess I would say what I say about every plan, um, check back in a week because the plan will likely have to be tweaked. So um, we were working very quickly to have, because the weather is supposed to be beautiful on Memorial Day and we really wanna help um, both the residents and the um, restaurant owners. And uh, if we've discovered something that uh, would, might make it better, it may change by the next weekend. Yes, and, and then well, the, the other thing is that the planning board is meeting tonight. Is that what you wanted to say, Mary? <laughs> yes. And they'll be discussing this. And uh, Marty Jacobs, who's the current chair, was on the committee. So we're optimistic that they'll take a positive view towards this as well. Would anybody like to ask any questions or? Mo, can comment? I just say one more thing? Yes, we please. do actually require that the planning board take a motion that's, that essentially will indicate that they will plan to not enforce um, special permit uh, provisions and other provisions that would interfere with this activity during this period of time. So we, that is actually a, a, an action that we've asked that they take and that Marty is bringing forward. Yes, and I would just before I call on John, reiterate that this is only for the duration of the current emergency. And we'll have right. a chance to revisit this based both on what's happening with respect to that and also from our experience of doing something that we really haven't tried before. John. Uh, thank you. The, uh, the schematic that was uh, forwarded to the board earlier indicated uh, table and chairs on the common at Greens Field and at Avery Square in the Heights. And um, the, the only uh, comment I have on the, what was presented is it seemed a bit aggressive with respect to the number of tables and chairs that seem to be in very close proximity. And hopefully we can look at that and, uh, and peer that down a bit. If I can just comment on that, John, um, unless Marianne wants to speak to it. That was a conceptual, for example, we're not proposing to do anything on Greensfield at this time. It was okay. a test of how many people you could get in those circumstances and be within a safe social distance for each participant. So it's a concept. Okay. The ultimate Thank may look somewhat like that, but it's a maximum. 
Uh, any other comments or questions? Mr. Chair? Yeah. Uh, thank you, and it's a great idea and concept. Um, I know we spoke last meeting about parking lots being used once we get into the next phase of right. restaurants opening up, and I know that conversation has been had. I'm just trying to get an update on where we stand with that, that idea. As Do you want to take that, Mary Ann? Sure. Uh, it turns out that there was some guidance from the state that came out at the beginning of this week that suggested that parking lots counted as enclosed space. They subsequently published a note, I think late yesterday, that said, oh, wait, maybe we didn't mean that. They're not enclosed space, but we're going to reissue guidance. I don't think that reissued guidance has come out yet. Therefore, we're not proposing parking lots right now, but we are hoping that there may be some select parking lot spaces that we will be able to use going forward as soon as this gets clarified. Right, and that's what I'd like to see for our phase two, to look at those spaces as well. And I think obviously yes. we we'll rely on guidance from the state, but um, I think whatever we're doing here is terrific and it might be something that catches on, who knows? Yes, and the committee was very open to that. And the other thing is that the our public safety officers were very concerned that we make sure that there was a sufficient barrier between people eating and potential accident with cars overshooting their parking spaces. So those will be in the next phase if we can find a way to do it. Everybody seemed to want to do it in the working group. Thank you. Other comments or questions? Dan? Uh, Ms. Cleismo. Uh, I think this is a great idea. Thank you to, to Marianne and everybody that worked on this. Um, one, uh, it, it's important to note, I think, that this really puts a lot of responsibility on our citizens. This is a new thing that we're doing because people really want to do it. Um, but it's important that people act responsibly. Um, they need to clean up after themselves. We don't want a lot of litter. We don't want disturbances. People are going to have to use careful judgment about social distancing. It's fine for a family that's been, um, you know, has been sheltering together to come down uh, five or six people at a table would seem reasonable to me, depending on how this is laid out. Larger groups or people that have not been sheltering together, I think we need to be more cautious because, of course, people will not be wearing masks. I'd like to be as not as prescriptive, to avoid being as prescriptive to the extent that we can. But we need people to exercise good judgment and we need the public to understand that. Um, if this goes well, I'm echoing what others have said, the idea of expanding into using some of the parking lot spaces when that can be done. Because I think there's gonna be a lot of interest in this and people will really like it. So thank you to all. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Can I have a motion? Oh, Kate, please. I just wanted to note, um, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your motion, please. is that um, our state rep, Denise Garlic, is on the, on the call. Oh, I'd like to welcome our state representative, Denise Garlic. I don't see her on the attendee list, but I guess she's on the call. So mm -hmm. welcome, Denise. And we just um, discussed opening up the commons in the Heights and in the downtown uh, for public eating spaces for takeout food starting this weekend. Uh, John. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that the board vote to authorize the consumption of alcohol as defined by Mass General Law Chapter 138, Section 1, that has been sold in association with takeout service of food pursuant to Chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020, Section 13 at the Town Common, the Needham Heights Common, Avery Square, and Eaton Plaza under the provisions of 3.1.9 of the general laws of the town. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, not really seconds. Um, any discussion on the motion? Uh, Mary Ann? Um, can I just make one more comment again, just to try to be as clear as possible with people. So again, this is for alcoholic beverages that are purchased with your takeout dinner. It does not mean that you can bring your own to come drink on the common. It does not mean that you can go into one of the liquor stores and then bring it from there to the common. It's really for the enjoyment of being consumed with the food that you purchased on a takeout basis. Thank you. It's very important to have that clear. Um, any further discussion? Then I'll call the roll. Mr. Matthews. Um, uh, yes. 
Ms. Cooley. Yes. Mr. Bullion. Yes. Mr. Borelli. Yes. And the chair votes yes. That's unanimous. Thank you very much. That brings us to our next item on our agenda, which is this year's town meeting, which will be quite unique in the history of Needham, I think. So Kate, would you like to introduce this? Certainly, Mr. Chair. Um, as you know, we've been working with the moderator and um, many, many um, interested parties on the best way to hold our annual and special town meetings. And um, we had identified uh, two options that are currently legally available to us uh, would be an inside option at Needham High School using a number of classrooms and the cafeteria or an outside option um, using a park or a field or a parking lot. And we did a survey of town meeting members and we had almost 200 who responded, which was a really great response in about a 24 hour period. Um, and you know, just trying to gauge what uh, the reaction of town meeting members is to the inside, the outside, um, yes, no, or maybe. Um, probably by a margin of, of 20 or so, the outside option was preferred and um, the no option um, was, uh, more people were concerned about attending the inside than the outside option. Um, I think that uh, given that and given the uh, recent guidance from the Commonwealth and the concerns that we've received from other quarters, it made the most sense to explore an option for an outside town meeting. As we've talked about in the past, we're looking to pare down, and the board has already uh, significantly pared down the warrant um, in several uh, meetings that you have uh, to streamline presentations by having all of the proponents um, tape them in advance and we'll post them to our, our website um, and the YouTube channel on the website so that um, all those um, presentations can be done in advance. We've set up an email address for town meeting at needhamma.gov uh, for people to submit questions and we will get questions answered, sent back and also posted. So we'll have lots of information. The warrant will be going out this week and um, we will be sending uh, guidance to town meeting members next week with respect to all of the logistics involved with this new way of having town meeting, which for the last uh, nine years we've had at um, Powers Hall. So uh, the new venue, Mr. Chair, would uh, be at Memorial Park. We're currently um, planning um, out using the uh, parking lot from Memorial Park. We've moved the time, we're proposing that the board move the time uh, to five o'clock on uh, that day on June 8th for the annual and then a separate motion to move the special town meeting to Memorial Park at 5.30 p.m. so that we make sure um, we have that all in order. And um, as I said, there'll be a lot of logistical issues that people are gonna be interested in hearing about, and we'll be sending all of those out, um, both on the website and um, by mail. So happy to answer any questions uh, that you may have. Does anyone have any questions for our town manager? John? Thank you. Um, Yes, this is truly going to be different. Um, and so I know that the we did get a letter from the Board of Health today outlining some recommended guidance and protocols. Uh, look forward to seeing that worked on by Kate and her team. Um, you know, it would look it would ask people to um, to take their temperature prior to, to coming over to Memorial Park. Um, and, and I think that it's going to, I would ask everybody that's viewing this uh, to read the guidance. We all want to do this, but do it carefully. And um, I also think that bug spray might be also a good addition to have people prepare for. Because, you know, if we have some 150 or 200 people uh, at five o'clock, which is dinner time for mosquitoes, um, we want to be uh we, we want to have that uh, dealt with appropriately in addition to the other safety concerns that we're looking to do. So this is interesting, this is gonna be fascinating, um, but uh, you know, I'm interested to see how the guidance and the protocols are put forth. Thank you. Thank you, John. Would anybody, Matt, please. Mr. Chair, I just wanna comment, I know we've been talking about this for what, two, three weeks now and getting people together and on the same page and to me, this is the best of the alternatives that we had as far as indoor, uh, outdoor, or I know we talked about trying to do it virtually, but I think with the time crunch, that would have been difficult, but something I think in the future that we could pull off. So I think with a limited amount of time, I think the team's done an incredible job getting 
a concept together that I think will work. We'll try to make it as brief as we can. That's up to town meeting, but I think uh, if we follow the guidance and follow our guidance, we will be okay. So thanks for all the help with this and let's get some business done. All right, thanks, Matt. Uh, Mary Ann, do you have anything you wanna say about this? So I just wanted to say that of the options that we had, I think this is the better option, but I am also in favor of um, seeing us move to a virtual option when that's available to us, if that's needed in the future. Dan, would you like to weigh in or are you all set? I just appreciate all the work that's gone into it. This is a difficult time, but I think um, there's strong interest in having the meeting. If we can do it safely, it will greatly make it help the work of the town and in, in working through the next several months to have the basic votes that we we would ordinarily take as part of the annual process done and to be able to move on working on other issues so it's a great help and thank you thank you dan i think it's important i'll call on you next john no, that's fine. i think it's I important to understand that we did weigh heavily the option of postponing beyond the end of the fiscal year for the town meeting we had some latitude with that, but we made a calculation that that was far more damaging to the interests of the town than finding an acceptable way to do town meeting. And that's what we proceeded to do. John? Thank you. Uh, I'd like to offer a motion. You may. That the board vote to set the location and time of the 2020 annual town meeting to 5 p.m. on June 8th, 2020, a very special day at Memorial Park and the time and location of the June 8th, 2020 special town meeting to 5.30 p.m. on June 8th, 2020, a very special day at Memorial Park. And further, that the rain date for the meetings be, be June 10th, 2020 or June 11th, 2020. Um, want me to hold on the second motion? Relative yes, please, to because we have to go to those various. Uh, Thank you. Things. Okay. The second to Mr. Bullion's motion. Is there any discussion on the motion? Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Matt. I just had a question on the rain dates. If we, if something does happen where it storms and we're past that second day, do we, would we have to still, when can we set those future rain dates, I guess is my question, in case something horrible happens as far as the weather's concerned? Mr. Chair, it's my understanding that the moderator can recess the town meeting for weather, but if Chris Heap, town council is, the backup council is on the line if you want me to ask him to weigh in on that question. I, I'm just, I would. I'm just curious that if we have to set it, I'd set even two more dates the following week in case we had a week of poor weather so we wouldn't have to come together just to adjourn it. Um, but if we can do that in the future, I'm fine with that. You don't need to come together to adjourn it. The moderator can do that. Well, that's true. After, but let, Chris is here. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, to answer the question, once you've established the dates, uh, the moderator can announce a continuance to a later date beyond that. So I think I think this, the, the inclusion of those two rain dates in the motion is meant to place them on the calendar and you know hold those. But if for whatever reason we need to go beyond that, the moderator can do that. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Kate, is there anything, oh, Matt, uh, John? Could I uh, it possibly uh, throw in for discussion and then, and then possibly amend my motion to include Memorial Park and possibly as, as an additional option, should it be necessary, DeFazio Park? Or do we not need, is that not no, necessary to be in the motion? Good, you know, Memorial Park will be appropriate. I think I, I can't see any reason why we would move to DeFazio given the con, the type of parking lot that we have at DeFazio, the availability of handicapped access, um, and also um, the the both of the turf fields at Memorial and DeFazio are brand new, and um, it really felt like that the preferred option was the parking lot itself. But if if we need if it's determined uh, that we need more space than the parking lot can handle, can we go on to any of the fields to provide for the overflow? Yes, yes. As long as we use the grass fields, um, okay. Appropriate. Thanks okay. for raising that question, John. Um, is there any other discussion on the motion? Hearing none, we come to the vote. Uh, Mr. Matthews. Yes. Miss Cooley. Yes. Mr. Bullion? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. And the chair votes yes. So that's unanimous. 
I am going clockwise, so I'm not discriminating against anybody when I call on you on these. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to ask the town manager to take us through the remaining uh, articles on town meeting and I under on the town meeting warrant and the special warrant. I understand that there may be um, some changes to a rescission that we made. Mr. Chair, I would uh, I would leave back uh, adjunct counsel Chris Heap here just in case you have any questions. So we don't. Have to oh, please. Um, Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I think there are um, there are in our board members who have uh, proposed um, recommendations on some of the articles, and I think the first one is that comes up would be um, Ms. Cooley for planning consulting assistance. Do you want to speak to that, Marianne? Sure. So um, the planning consulting assistance was an article that we put originally put into the warrant because it has been clear increasingly over the last two years that when town citizens are coming to planning board hearings, they are often asking for more detailed information that we might have available at a certain stage of zoning. Um, historically, we used to save a number of studies until there was a developer involved and then the developer would pay for the study. But people would like more understanding of some questions earlier in the process. And so we propose to create um, some funds for planning consulting assistance that could be deployed by the planning board in support of the work that they're doing over the course of a year. Um, it looks like this might be, in fact, a better route forward. Uh, originally, we had a specific survey related to um, the re traffic around the Highway Commercial One site. Um, it now looks like we would be having a different discussion about traffic around the Highway Commercial One site, and it means that we need to sort of step back and rethink all of that. So within that total context, it makes more sense for the Planning Board to have funds available for their use to support their work going forward next year, and that will give the town the greatest flexibility in taking actions required related to planning. So are you moving that we reinstate so, that? I would move that we reinstate um, Article 10 and um, that we plan to, I don't have specific language, but we would come to another thing. So that we plan to actually have specific language if you want it at some point that we reinsert uh, in the warrant, Article 10, appropriate for planning consulting assistance, notwithstanding the plan, the board's prior vote to withdraw Article 10 from the warrant. And my understanding, Ms. Cooley, is that we are not taking, we're not going to be moving to take a position on this article tonight because we're merely reinstating it. Correct. Is there a second to Mary Ann's motion? Second. Then we shall have some discussion on the motion. Would it, any questions or comments? Mr. Chair? Please. Thank you. And I know we're not taking a position on this tonight. I would just like to hear from planning um, more of a background on how this money will be spent in the target of this um, as we move forward. So I'd just like to get a little more information as we lead up to the vote. And um, we have the time to do that and we can follow up on that. Great. Thank you. Any other questions so or comment, Mary Ann? I may not, I just want to say, I don't think that we actually know today exactly how all that meeting will be spent. It was meant for consulting assistance over the course of the year, but um, we may have additional information about a portion of it next week. Right. Any other questions or comments before we come to the vote? Fine, then we'll come to the vote. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Ms. Cooley? Yes. Mr. Bullion? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. Uh, the chair votes yes. That's unanimous. That brings us to Kate again. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I misspoke earlier. I think I said that the planning consulting was 12. It's 10. Um, but I believe Mr. Matthews was going to have a uh, proposal with respect to Article 12, public health consulting. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Um, do I have that? Uh, I know that we talked about doing that. Has Marianne got that material? I don't, but we're just planning to withdraw, right? Yeah. It's that. just to withdraw Article 12? That's right. Yes. Okay. 
And that's uh, simply because that's uh, something that we would not be needing those funds uh, this this year. And to and I mentioned Marianne because I I know that to a certain extent it balances out with the uh, the prior action. Second, okay. I would offer the, the motion to would to would that the board withdraw uh, Article Twelve. I'll so second that as well. Say again. I'll second that as well. Oh, good move, Matt. Um, <laughs> Any discussion on the motion, Marianne? And and um, withdrawing now, I think that our, my understanding is that we will consider bringing this back in the fall, correct? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. If, um, I, if I may, Mr. Chairman, just to be clear, this uh, public health consulting is not related to money that would be used for any of the work that we're doing on the current health emergency. This is for some further planning um, about issues that are not expected to arise uh, prior to um, uh, the, the fall town meeting. And, and in keeping with the approach of deferring those things, which we can to, to a later date, uh, it makes sense to withdraw this article. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Mr. Matthews? Yes. Ms. Cooley? Yes. Mr. Bullion? Yes. Mr. Baroli? Yes. And the chair votes yes. So that's unanimous. Now we have some other uh, business from previous meeting and tonight with respect to citizens' petitions. Um, we had two citizens' petitions withdrawn for the convenience of the town given the um, importance of having a brief town meeting or as brief as a town meeting as possible. So those petitions were withdrawn. I would like to propose that we obligate ourselves to include those without prejudice for or against those petitions for inclusion in the fall town meeting because this, the signature requirement for a special town meeting is significantly more burdensome on the applicant than for an annual town meeting. So Did moved. I state that correctly? Yes, so moved, Mr. Chair. Um, is there any, is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion on, on the motion? Ms. Fitzpatrick. Were you referring to Article 20, the citizen's petition on general residence B? Yes, thank you very much for it. And that is pending a formal notice from that applicant, but he has given us a firm verbal and 31, right, Mr. Chair? The yes. uh, trash? Yes. Which we heard a presentation of at our last meeting. Dan. Yes, and just with the understanding <clears throat> that the petitioners may choose to revise the text of what they're submitting in one way or another between now and, and that time. But if they were to, uh, if they come back and say they want us. They want to put in exactly what they offered this time. Then we would we would do that as a courtesy. And if they have something that's different in any reasonable way, that we would do that as well. Doing this, and, and to, I don't think it needs to change the motion, but just to say this to be clear, we're going to put the petitioners' um, articles into the warrant as a courtesy so that they don't have to go through the more extensive petition process, but it in no way uh, states a view of the board one way or another on whether we support, the board will support the articles on the merits. Thank you for that clarification, Dan. Uh, I don't think I heard a second. Did I hear a second? Oh, you did, okay, thank you. Um, any further discussion? Then we come to the vote. Dan? Yes. Mary Ann? Yes. John? Yes. And Matt. Yes. Is there any other um, warrant chair. Is issue? Oh, the chair votes yes. It's unanimous. Thank you. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, <laughs> are there any other warrant matters that we need to deal with, Kate? No, I don't think so. Unless you still have an opportunity on the on Wednesday, the 27th, to take it up. Right. We'd still have a position to take on at least one of the articles. Uh, Dan, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I did want to talk about whether we should take 
a vote on Article 19, which is the proposal for zoning adjustment to allow um, the uh, a, a possible special permit and and uh, and payment in lieu of tax and other kinds of agreements to be worked out for the, a pediatric medical facility, children's hospital facility, which would be a tax-paying facility in the industrial center. Um, I would, I guess, I would like if we can to take a vote, and I, and if, and if in order, I'd offer a motion that the vote, vote to the board vote to recommend adoption, uh, subject to um, of the article uh, 19, subject to modification based on input from the finance committee, the planning board, and the town manager. I know that we've delayed taking a vote to recommend the article, even though my understanding is that from the people working on this, there's very broad support for this um, proposal, which will be a win-win for the town, uh, potentially in terms of, it's an important medical service that will be a, uh, uh, available here in Needham, both for the town's people in our region, it's a great location for it with good traffic access to have a medical facility that's agreed as this would be to be a full tax paying facility is a terrific asset uh, to the town and helps us uh, in terms of making sure that we're able to meet our other financial obligations. Um, and we, but it's important I think to get that vote taken early if we can, because this will be a significant decision by town meeting we want the public to have as broad and complete information about this uh, when we ask for it to be approved uh, at the town meeting session. And I need a recognizing, and the reason I would offer the motion in the way that I've described it, that we know that there are some pieces of the puzzle that are still being worked out. There are on no ongoing negotiations about about the uh, the payment in lieu agreement with with children's, there are um, the planning board has not completed its review. Uh, we still need the finance committee to weigh in, and and there may be other public input as well. But when we are now as approximately 20 days from town meeting, I think it's really important that the board, if it can, take a position in principle in support of this so that we can start get it, we can work at getting that information out into the community so that the public will understand what this proposal is, why we think it's a good idea, think of the questions that they might have or in further information that they need, and so that we can seek support support for this to get it to get it done. With your indulgence, Ms. Matthews, before I call for a second, I'd like to get the advice of the town manager and our attorney with respect to the timing of the motion so that we don't end up compromising the process that we've established. Kate? So, Mr. Chair, I, I believe that Mr. Matthews' motion was um, to approve in principle the um, zoning um, proposal. At your meeting next Wednesday in a week, uh, we will be presenting you with a pilot agreement, the host community agreement, and the representatives from Children's Hospital will be there to give um, a further public update of their zoning. But I, we see no reason why the board can't um, take a public position on, a, on the zoning in principle. Excellent. Is there a second on Mr. Matthews' motion? Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? Well, I just want to be clear in terms of the way that I, I had described the motion as I would offer it and the, and the town manager has given us the description. I, I, I think either way is fine, but I want to just be clear what we'll, we'll have in the minutes. Yeah, I think that we are all very, very interested in making sure that this proposal moves forward and the town meeting will support it in the end. Um, so is there any further discussion before we take the vote? Mr. Matthews. I guess I'm asking the town manager, if I, if the motion were to read that the board uh, recommend adoption of, of Article 19 uh, as presented in the warrant subject to modification based on input from the Finance Committee, Planning Board, and uh, town manager, is that, is that a, 
a, a proper form for the motion as you've as you've described it, or would it be better to, in the alternative, have it simply be to recommend in principle the approval of Article 19? Well, I'm not I'm not sure that there's going to be any amendment to the text of the article mm -hmm. in the warrant. So, I, I believe. I believe the board can vote to recommend adoption of Article 19, and then at your next meeting, you would be voting on the actual um, documents on how it would be implemented if it passes at town meeting. So then simply present this as to recommend adoption of Article 19. Sure. Right. And I'll second that again. Okay, thank That's you. I understood it, thank you. Any further discussion? Then we come to the vote. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Ms. Cooley. Yes. Mr. Bullion? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. And the chair votes yes, so that's unanimous. Do we have any further town meeting business, Kate? A special town meeting, Mr. Chair, just to withdraw. Yes. So, so now we come to the special. So I want to hold on Article 1, actually, until we meet next week. That's okay. Okay. Uh, is there any, does uh, anybody I, have any further thoughts on that before we hold? Um, not on that, on, on that, but I did want to pass back to one article in, uh, in the annual. Yes. We have, uh, uh, I've been assigned to speak on uh, article 32, which is the citizen's petition regarding the sewer line extension at Walker, uh, on Walker Lane. And I just wanted to provide a little bit of, of update to the board. As you may recall, when we met with the proponent, there was a suggestion that the, the at the request of the, of the residents and the proponent, the town has already got this, the, the, the sewer, uh, installing the sewer, connecting that neighborhood to the sewer in the work, its work plan, which involves some additional uh, legal responsibilities and steps. It's not a simple matter, but it's in process without this petition being acted on. As, and the petition itself actually suggests that there might be some alternative approach, which I don't think the board or the town would support. And there are issues with the way the petition itself is written. So that I, I'm offering the view, and I think we described it uh, and we were all here, but I'm repeating this just for the benefit, um, that it would be much better, both from the point of view of the town, of town meeting in terms of trying to expedite the meeting and of the, the residents themselves, to, that the citizens petition be withdrawn. But that, is a, that, that can only be done by the petitioner. Um, council, our council, that issue was raised when the uh, petitioner was here and town council has written to the petitioner asking the petitioner to withdraw. And so hopefully we'll have some response to that. Um, if it's not withdrawn, uh, given that I've been assigned to speak on it at our next meeting, I'll be asking for a vote to oppose the petition. And, um, and then, and just to be clear, because it would not, to my way of thinking, be to anyone's best interest, either the town, the town meeting, or uh, or the residents of the neighborhood uh, to try to have this be enacted or even considered considered further by town meeting in the in the form submitted. So hopefully it will be withdrawn and that will be that, but otherwise I'll have a further report at our next meeting. Okay. Is there any further town meeting business for us this evening? I don't think so. Uh, all right, in that case, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. Mr. Bullion? Moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Mr. Matthews? Yes. Ms. Cooley? Yes. Mr. Bullion? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. And the chair votes yes, that's unanimous. Uh, this meeting is adjourned. Thank Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the help. Wednesday next week because of the election. Great. Right. Good evening. Good evening.